There was a man that was running around my my neck. Can you shut the fuck up? There was a man running around my neighborhood this morning with a machete. This is this is factual. We'll put the text message on the screen. Yeah, the, I just got back for the tweet. Yeah, and, we, and Animal won't give us his alibi for where he's been all morning. What were you doing? Where have you been? I was on Fifty Fourth Street with the machete. The fuck do you think? Tough week. Another uh, loss. Zero and seven. It's good math. Zero so, and seven. Uh, so when does the paper bag watch begin? We're going to be putting bags on your head once you hit like uh, probably he, double digits. If he hits 0-10, the bags are starting to go on. It's like the Lions. Remember when they went 0-16 and all their fans were wearing bags over Yeah, so head? here's what will happen. If I go 0-10, I'll start an episode with a bag on my head. I'm not no. going to do a whole episode. <laughs> so with we're going to do different head. bags each week. One's going to be plastic. One's going to be paper. Do one's the plastic gonna... one first. We'll, no holes. We'll keep... <laughs> I was, no, we're, we <laughs> no, were going to say... got to be 0 <clears> We're, we're going to say when... Uh, what we'll do is we'll finish... If you go 0-14, you end the year 0-14. The last episode <laughs> will... Have no holes on Plastic it. Bags. That's that's how we finish FTPs. You being dead. And this is non-negotiable, by the way. You never had a say. I mean, at this point, you, I, you deserve at this it. point, I yeah. You I can have a you can have a vote for each win. I can't manage anything in my life right now. So what else is wrong? You okay. Well, I was just talking about fantasy. Really, it's, this is what my you life. Said managing anything. Okay. This is my life. The fact okay. that I'm zero and seven crushes me. You guys don't realize that. It's incredible. You don't realize how much no, this hurts. I, it would leave like a, a a hole in my stomach too if I was 0 7 any time I get down. It's terrible. Yeah. This is the like one. I know, never knowing you're for sure gonna be like last. being in last place is oh like it sucks obviously like but it happens but being 0 and 7 in last place is is it hurts. Yeah, you're never getting a win. I might not. When I mean, you got guys like Sam Darnold putting up 0. 0.8. They're not the sharps. I'm the sharp. 0. 0.8 points. You're a starting quarterback in the NFL. 0. 0.8 points. We're going to have this conversation again, how I smacked the shit out of Shane with Cam Newton getting me a negative .18. Yeah, I know. It's different, though. Like Cam you, Newton wishes he had .8. You have your wide receiver one and your wide receiver two, okay? Like, we went through this. No, I don't, because Adam Thielen was on a bye. Wow. Whatever. What a Wow. We, Miles we, Sanders dead. Before we really Austin get Eckler, into this, let's uh, do, the, do the intro thing. Oh, yeah. So, uh, this is the Fade the Public podcast. Is it? Apparently. Someone told me that, and I've ran with it ever since. I hate it, but I get paid to be here by Animal. Hey, animal. <laughs> I got there. I really you wanna... know, if Sam Donald doesn't put up, like, zero points and he puts up two, you would have broke 100. Little would have been a big, little, monumental. Small, small victories. Small victories. Small, those tiny How many wins. weeks have you gone under 100? Like, every week. How many have weeks you ever are gone there? over 100? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. I want to see your highest. I feel like the first week we played, you had so thing. much hope Nine, in week all right, one. All right, so 98-7. Like. I've had a player score wow, 126 under, last week. under one point every week. I'm impressed. 90, do you have the 112. Most, do you have the most points scored against you, too? Is no. that how this week? No, he does not. not. But dude, Steve put up 122 this week, and I couldn't win. Jason for sure does. Super he, winnable Jason's week. Jason's gone up against two 190-point uh, teams. You're right behind mm-hmm. him, too. You're five points fewer. Against him, against you. I've, I've had almost 150 points, 170 points less scored against me than you have. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, my God. Holy shit. Anyways, 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 anyways. You don't hear me bitching. Here's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to, following the theme of yesterday's bunk bed breakdown video, we redrafted a rookie dynasty draft the first two rounds. If you missed that yesterday, go check it out with your eye holes. Today, what we're going to do is redraft a regular season long league. As if it was starting. No, you said it wrong. It's the mid-season redraft, redraft. You idiot! Whoa! Get it right! Whoa! It's the only thing you've ever gotten right in fantasy this year. (laughs) That's because he didn't have to read it off a fucking screen. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so we're gonna draft a twelve-team league, super flex, half PPR, normal settings. And we're going to go pick by pick. So we're kind of going to do a snake draft within each other. So it'll be like pick one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll we're going to help each other, though. Disagree. <laughs> Nick is going to help you, me you pick. I know you want our help, but I asked him happen. before the show if he'll help me. He said no. Yeah. I know he's going to. I'm absolutely. I'm going to tell you, to, like I did with one chains during the E-Town Get Down draft. I told him to take <laughs> Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Le'Veon, well, actually, it looks pretty good now. No, it doesn't. It looks pretty good now. <laughs> it was Le'Veon Bell or like Todd Gurley, and Gurley's like the RB7 right now. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah he actually. just won't die, will he? Yeah, no, apparently. He just keeps falling. Yo, can we wait? Hold on. We need to talk about that touchdown at the end. Todd Gurley to the goal line. Touchdown. I've never seen a, a defense happy about it, uh, letting up a he touchdown. He scored that on purpose. 
There, you cannot tell me no, otherwise. I don't think so, bro. You, you have to. Do you know how long? No, no, no. Fuck you. No. He's <laughs> notorious for for kneeling down. Yeah. Then he would have known to do it. No, he, because if he, he's notorious for kneeling down, he knew the situation. He kind of. You think you think pushed no, in a little no. bit. You think in the huddle, dude. He was like nine yards away from the end zone. You don't need to get pushed nine fucking yards. He was breaking that tackle when he broke it. Just momentum. You could see he tried he to was, stop. And he no. was, that ball was barely. He did not in. try to stop until he was one inch away from the fuck. You cannot tell me. I can't believe you guys don't believe that he just wanted the touchdown. He didn't. I don't. No. He wanted the win. How long do you He's think? He's a competitor. Do you think the play call was get the first down and go down? There was six yards between if, the first down and the fucking end zone. If he hadn't done it numerous times in the past, I may agree. But he's done this before where he just goes down. Because it's Atlanta. He don't give a fuck about the win. He wants touchdowns. He knows he's on right, the decline. All right, a that was a, a, that was a selfish personal statistical. I think that was just like a straight up acting job. 100%. Like, oh, in my, oh no. In my heart of, look at the fucking, in my heart of hearts, I believe that he selfishly went in for a touchdown. Can I say something here? I'm happy that you're fired up about this because yeah, I never see the real fandom from you. You don't really give a shit normally. You just like pretend like you don't care about it. This bothered you. This pissed me the this fuck off. This bothered you. This was showing. one of the most pissed off I think off I would I've be ever. more pissed off at my defense allowing the offense no, no, to no, go 80 yards. Once yeah, he went in, I knew it was no game over. Yeah, exactly. It could have been 40 seconds. It could have been 12 seconds. Yeah. I knew we were done. The Lions knew it, too. They're like, the, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> they dude, gave it to like us. The, that, they made that, it look so easy. That play is like... Plays. That play is like that picture at the end when he falls into the end zone, and they're, like and they're all four of them. Like if this game mattered in any capacity, that would go down as one of the more iconic pictures. Like oh for sure, yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. The, the I, game I I truly believe that he knew exact. You they talked about it for ten minutes before that play happened, and then he's got a four yard leeway, and he keeps chugging through the tackle, knowing he already got the first down. There was four yards he was carrying a guy. Just go fucking down. That, Whatever. We're going to redraft. <laughs> I love it. We're going to redraft this. This is great. Love the fire. We're going to redraft a fandom. fucking thing and fucking Welcome to hit the intro. I'm done. Wow. Were you, did you, get, were, you know what it was? Like you thought you were going to get a win yesterday and then that happened. And you're like, fuck. We had the win. We had it. I got, you know, once we once we got our first dub, and I was like, we're not getting Trevor Lawrence. Like, it ain't happening. Then I'm like, okay, let's, let's just, fucking get something let's going. Let's get something going here. Let's yeah. prove that Dan Quinn was the problem here. Mm -hmm. And now it's just it's just a top-down thing. Our environment is just a losing And Arthur attitude. Blank has got to stay off the sidelines. He's Every time he goes on the sidelines, they <laughs> lose in awful fashion. He's out of control. He looks like he's going to solve a fucking detective case or something. Like, I'm just like, what are you doing? Do you yeah, even know what a football is? I don't think he does. He employed Dan Quinn for all these years. So Des Bryant signed with the Ravens. All right, everybody. Welcome back from the intro. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's get right into the 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 recap here. Even though we did a little bit of it, we touched on it briefly. No need to discuss anymore. You sure? Um, there's some big things that happened. There's nothing here. really big happened. Like Sam Darnold sucks. Uh, Devonta Adams went off, and I had to start Traquan Smith because Michael Thomas keeps getting hurt. That's really it. My team is trash. You put up a solid seven. We'll get to it when we go to the matchups to see what happened. Let's head over to my man, Mr. Nick. Rick. I didn't know which, <laughs> I didn't know which way you were going to go. Dancing Rick. I thought you were just going to say my man, Nick, and then leave us <laughs> hanging and not really know which one we I'll have to go. see if you were smart. Uh, so I had a big game against Just Grit, who was in, I think it was second versus third place, myself versus him, and I uh, laid the, the wood down, thanks in part to... Well, Tyler Lockett threw up a 45 spot for me. Light 200 yards and three touchdowns. 15. That, what an absurd fucking game by him. Yeah, yeah so that's ridiculous. Kansas City defense had 24. So the fact that Newton put me up a fucking neg didn't even matter. I think yeah. it's pretty safe to say if you had Tyler Lockett this week, you probably won your matchup. Most likely. Yeah. I mean, you know what's happen. crazy? You could have taken Tyler Lockett out of my lineup. I still would have won. Yeah. About I'm, four points. You, um, you put the smack down on him. You were nervous about this matchup, too. I was. I mean, because I was going to be without Sanders, too. And uh, you know what's crazy? All summer, I was just like, I, w I just want to stay running backs and what's keeping me afloat your receivers is my four i yeah like fuller lockett mclaurin Thielen are all top 10 receivers and kelsey's been an absolute stud too so i've been piecing together henderson and jamal williams and just like random running backs together and they're just putting up enough points that is getting me Keep by you afloat baby yeah and now i'm six and one i'm like 14 beho points behind eric in uh in the standings to take over first place. We got a huge fucking matchup. We do. This week. Save it. So Eric, Save it. Eric beat me. Eric beat me. Um, this I, week? That was the matchup? Yeah. Are you slipping? I mean. You're three and four. 
Three and four. Yeah, you're slipping. Coming from you, yeah. No, I'm just saying. So. You were one of the best teams in the league he, the first three weeks. He's been here before. Weeks. He knows. He, know, he knows how it starts. Well, I think here's my thing. I think this has become. No, the last new, year was worse. I was five and one. This year was. This three is and the two. new snacks. The snacks mid, starts off he's like a strong guy. Starts mid-season, off terrible. Has a shit slipper. Miserable, ugly, disgusting looking draft. Then comes out firing. Wins a bunch of games and then just slips. Yeah, but and I did. Gonna I finish started like zero and seven. one. Two and one, two and two, three and two. I've been. You're gonna finish seventh. I couldn't. I had to. Nah, I, snacks again in the playoffs. I no got chance. destroyed last week when when Russ and Kamara were out. I mean, this week I had Taylor out and I had to play fucking AJ Dillon or Frank Gore. It's tough to win when your so, best players aren't there. Well, I mean, it's also I scored one one twenty eight. Wouldn't know. So you got stomped out. Good for you. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Uh, well, all right, good. matchups. So, so who are you losing to in week eight? So week eight, I'm gonna lose to Shane, who's on a big bounce back week after losing to you. Yeah, you, you know, his know. Team's gonna be pissed off. So here's the thing that's annoying: is like DK Metcalf had three points against you. Like he's gonna have 33 against me this week. Like it's just gonna happen. Like he's not gonna have under 10 points. Again. There's some tough matchups here, though. No, shut your mouth. He has a really Robbie solid Anderson team. Thursday I was night really against lucky Atlanta. To escape with a win there. Might have 15 to 25 points. Who's that? Robbie Anderson Thursday yeah. night versus uh, Atlanta. Oh, I mean, yeah. Tyreek Hill versus the Jets could be another 30 spot. I'm done. There's no chance I even... It's crazy that Shane is without Saquon. And he's, and he's now going to be without Carson for along. another few weeks. Yeah, and he's just stomping out shits. He's got a good all-around team. You're this gonna, is why you're I need fucked. the pre-draft lineup optimizer because I would be screwed. Like, look at this. How am I supposed to know that I'm playing... <sighs> How are you supposed to know that Derrick Henry plays against Cincinnati? Like, you would have faded him otherwise, right? No, not that. It's just the fact that, like, I'm fucking DK Metcalf, fucking Tyreek Hill versus the Jets. Like, all these matchups are killing me. Robbie Anderson versus Atlanta. You're the reason why these fucking fraud-ass companies stay in business pitching fucking algorithmic optimizer lineup projection fucking tools. I need it. I need someone to do, like, a preseason before drafts where they can put together, like, the optimal lineup based on future matchups for that year. So like Aaron Jones, like week one, two, and three should like be projected to have great amount of points along with these players also in week one, two, and three. So you can draft all these guys and then just have like them blow up the same weeks. Fucking algorithmic optimizer lineup projection fucking tools. I need it. Because they don't fucking matter. Nothing matters in fantasy. Like you just get pick good players or you don't and you have no idea whether or not they're going to be good. You just yeah. hope they're well, going like to be I good. Well, like I said last week, I'm chalking this one up to an injury bug. That's, you know, sure. When three of your four, four, four of your five first picks, you know, get hurt. You know, like when you have the bag over your face, it's, four out it's of not going to matter whether or not you're what lucky. Are, what, are, what are the betting odds on, on Owen 14? I'm going to say even money. He's going to sneak one out. Have to, you would think, but probably not. Because you know what's going to happen? Michael Thomas is never going to come back. Well, if Michael Thomas comes back, it's probably next week against And he's going to suck. Your, your hope has gonna to be. He's going to get locked down. You have to sucks. hope Fournette takes over as the workhorse there which I actually feel like might happen over in like a month or so. And then like if you have a s- explosion game between Fournette, Henry, Michael Thomas, DJ Moore, like those four hit on a given week, You're right they, there. they could throw you up like a 110 spot with those four <laughs> combined. And then you have the other five starters. That yeah, the other zero. guys to get me the other <laughs> seven <zero>. points. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Depending on who you're fucking yeah, bullshit well, I mean, ass. Why are you still starting Dalton Schultz when they have fucking Benny DiNucci at quarterback? I'm not. I didn't, we didn't do waivers yet. You're going to end up starting him. You're going to end up starting Okabunun and whatever, who Dude, is the Albert, backup oh, tight end. Dude, I want... I've always been balling. I, I why really, are three spots on your roster? Sorry, Snack. Why are no, three, no, I'm please. fired up today. Why are three spots on your roster for tight ends? And they all fucking stink. <laughs> Because there's nobody else. It doesn't matter. Who can I pick up? You could have fucking... There was like multiple good guys on the wire last week, I feel like. Wasn't Gronk on the wire last week? No. I don't know. Gronk's on uh, Steve's team. Yeah, I think he's been on... Played me and scored a touchdown. It's hard to keep track of our fucking leagues. I guess everyone's owned. Yeah, no. The the rosters is a a, a big thing. The waiver wires are very slim for a 10-team league. Yeah. Because it's really not a 10-team league right now with 20-man rosters. Yeah. It's, it's 240 players off the board. Yeah, it's so, a lot. Yeah, it's tough. So there's the waivers are slim. Um, and I have no fab. So, like, I put in bids, but I don't get guys because if you have more than a dollar, he's yours. <laughs> All right. Yours. So Animal's going to lose to Shane. I, you know what? No. Stop. No. Just fucking stop. Animal gets his win this week. Against Shane. Yeah. Absolutely not. These are the best matchups. All right. So I get to play Snacks. I get to play Snacky Poo. And this, this is a big battle for us. Yeah. You need this win. Yeah. I'm going to say you need it more than I do. I would like it, yeah, for sure. Um, I would like it. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be. I think a, it's gonna be very tight. It's gonna be super tight because uh, what do we got? I got McLaurin on a buy, Fuller on a buy. I'm not sure what 
Miles Sanders' status is going to be. Obviously, Eckler's going to be on fucking IR forever. Kelsey have, may put up 50 against the Jets, so that's what I got to worry about. Debo's out, too. I have to start fucking Corey Davis. My flex spots are going to be Corey Davis and TJ Hawkinson. It's not like, bad. It's, Jealous. It's not good. <laughs> Jealousy, bro. Jeez, that's well, like worst, I, I worst have, case scenario. Yes, bad drafting. I know. I have three Giants going against Tampa Bay's defense. So Yeah, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. And you have Marvin Jones. Hey, he had, no. he had a nice game last week. He fucking stinks, bro. Got 10 points. Yeah, that's huge. You're right. All right. Um, I'll, t- I'll take seven points. Russ versus San... That, that San Francisco defense getting healthy is a scary, scary thing. Yeah, I, I think Russ is... um. He's defense proof. That is true. I just meant in general. Just yeah, yeah. No, conversation they are. They are. talking about. It's big uh, for Ayuk though. The swing between uh, Ayuk and Debo. It's huge. Ayuk's yeah. been playing great. Yeah, like he's, he's playing great. I'm comfortably starting him, and I love it. Sure. Especially now Seattle. with Debo down. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yep. it's gonna be nice. If Chubb ever gets back, and I'm taking Jones and sending him to the fucking moon, and putting Ayuk there, and this is gonna be a tight matchup. Yeah, it should this be good. Be, it should be good. Be good. Uh, Kamara's up against Chicago. That's a stingy defense. So. Oh no. Oh, never mind. I thought every one of actually, depending on whether or not Miles Sanders plays, I might have like every single player at one o'clock except for Lockett. Oh, you're gonna oh. If it's all at one o'clock, I'm just benching everyone and taking the L. Should I'd rather not do go it. through that anxiety? Do it. All right. For me. Deal. And I'll bench like three guys. Keep it interesting. Fair. Stop, animal. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> Is that creepy? You have you have a wife. You have it's, a wife. A, it's pretty funny. You I have a wife have... and children. Oh, animal's pregnant, by the way. His girlfriend's very happy for him. <laughs> I have three guys that'll be done after one o'clock. That's it. Three, and then everything's at four on Monday night. So well, you guys you have, have a Thursday a, night too. You know, you guys. Well, should, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So oh. you guys should so um, Monday nights. Oh my god. You guys should do something together for like your matchup, like a, a Zoom, like Zoom each other. Or something. Yeah, he won't watch the Giant game with me. So well, I'm saying because you don't have the Giants to watch on Sunday, so you'll be like available. You guys should like Zoom each other or something, and like. With my with my one player playing, two players playing. What well, are you talking Sunday, about? like because you're playing against each other. Oh yeah. Like do like a talk shit and stuff, and then like we should like it. live stream that too. On maybe Sunday. you could do that possibly too. We'll talk about that. What are you guys after. doing for Halloween? This is a big. Wait, hold on. This is a big. This is a big week. There there are like four or five things that are big right now. Halloween. You versus me. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have Halloween. in two leagues. We have Halloween. Yeah, in two two big leagues. Two big leagues. Animal might get a win. No, that's not. That's, one that's of not one of them. Not a big All right. <laughs> it's not on the fucking Mount Rushmore of things that matter in my life. The NFL trade deadline is yeah. on oh, Tuesday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and a lot of rumors going. Election on. Day also on Tuesday. Oh, election that's true. Day, that's it. Yeah. So well, we, which we won't know the results for like a couple months, but yeah, like that's really it sucks. Annoying. It kind of sucks the wind out. I don't trust the process whatsoever. I don't trust any of this. Whoever wins and whoever wins, it's not going to be peacefully. Like no. the loser is not going to go down without no. screaming. If at Trump each other. loses, they're going to have to like physically drag him out. Like, he's going to conneve his fucking... I just made up a word, but he's going to fucking... Connive? Cannot, I guess, connive. I thought you were going to go with, like, Geneva Convention. He's going to Geneva Convention his way, staying <laughs> into the White House. Yeah, he might not leave. Yeah, so this next week, we got a lot going on. Um, I feel like and we'll probably be able to get a lot of, of and honestly, indication on what... out of all that, what do I care about the most right here? This fantasy, my fantasy team. Well, you should just stop caring. Out Maybe if you it, stop caring. That wasn't even on the list. Out of all of it, I care most about my Maybe fucking fantasy team. Maybe if you stop team. caring, you'll start winning. I care too much. Like that if so back though thing. Bernie Sanders has a better chance of winning president this year <laughs> than you do getting a win. He doesn't have much of a chance. All right, yeah. you guys want to do the uh the redraft thing? Mid-season Whoa, what redraft, are you doing for redraft? Halloween? Fuck Halloween. Oh, I forgot I asked you that and then I cut you off. I thought you were coming to the party with me. Steve said you were. That's fucking nonsense. I didn't say I was going to that. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what Come I'm doing. Come to, man. Actually, wait, while invited. we were bowling, some You're kid invited. invited us to another party at like a fucking penthouse in Midtown. And oh. I was all in. And then I was like, I don't know. This guy is kind of sketchy. I don't know if I want to go. Literally told us, he goes, Halloween's not the night to go to sketchy places. Eh, what be- do you mean? It's like that's the, the night ideal. To go. No, I disagree because that's when like the creeps are out and like they're dressed. It's as, like, Halloween, you fucking cunt. Yeah, and then you're at a party. It's and also then, New York City. There's creeps everywhere, no matter was, what day. Here's the thing: like you're at a random right here. party in a penthouse, you're drinking from the punch bowl, and all of a sudden you wake up and your liver's missing, and you're you're in a bathtub full of ice. What, I've been going without a liver of, for six years. Say, what other kind of way do you want to celebrate Halloween than that? I'm just saying exactly what you said. This guy, this guy was like, we got like. We got like 50 really hot girls. We don't have enough guys. Do you guys want to come to the party? And I was like, dude, what a problem to have. I was like, I don't believe there's, that's never been a problem in the history of the world. Yeah. That's what you say to dudes that you want to lure into your house to kill. Yeah. That, that was the, that was the reason I'm just like, I'm probably not going to go to this party because I'm in. it's not a thing. Yeah. Like I'm actually down to I'm go in. if you want to. Steve said he would fade a man's party and come <laughs> to if it was going to be fun. 
Uh, Sounds so, amazing. Yeah. So to go to I'll, a Halloween party. I'll actually chicks and die. I'll actually. Um, There's no chicks there though. You just die. <laughs> like the chicks are the trap. Also works. Also like, good. You're fun. gonna get like those like pictures like, you, know, content, like you go man. like on a cruise or like a vacation. They have like the fake background. The guys gonna be like sending you those with like a bunch of chicks. Terrific content. All right. Skirt. The mid. Did you send the sleeper shit? Like we're- it's time for the mid season redraft. Redraft. <laughs> Who wants I'm not, to? I'm not like congratulate. Who wants to go that? first? I'll, I'll go care. first. Sure. I'm gonna try and screen record this. Hope Alvin Kamara. What the fuck? For real? Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I I'm just. I was asking. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. Do you have any any reason why? Because he's really fucking good. He is. He's pretty good. <laughs> he's the best running back in football right now. This is super flex, by the way, for everybody. I'm going. There. I'm going running back my first pick, and if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take the best one. That's Kamara. So he takes Alvin Kamara. Um, what do you? Is want? it Kamara or Kamara? He's been in the league like five years now. I would say Kamara. Who cares? Kamara. Is it Kamara? Who Kamara's? That's what I was going to say, but like that doesn't work. <laughs> what the fuck so ever. Uh, what are we You're on really sleeper? in a cunty mood today, animal. All right. I'll go second. What are we on sleeper? I'm not even on sleeper. I was going to say. You don't need to be on I'm just doing it. We're going to go through to. four rounds. Maybe two maybe and a three, half. Maybe three. Depending two. on how pissed let's, off Let's see are. if we can get through three picks. Let's see if we can do this whole draft without taking in a Falcon. Ooh, I mean, it's possible. No, it's definitely not. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take. Don't, and don't make fun of me. I'm going to take Kyler Murray. That's the worst pick I've ever seen. I think it's a great pick. Of course you do. QB1. If you're a cunt. QB1, Kyler Murray. All right. Look, he's balling out. He's getting everything from the rushing yards. It's a fine pick. To the touchdowns. To the, the to everything. There's I really mean, been no, like, stay, you know exactly what you're getting every week, too. So, it's not bad. There's no real running backs. Well, I'm assuming I'll see what you I don't do think here. you would make that pick, though. Because, like, I, Lamar so, Jackson had the same outlook going into this year, and we let him drop to, like, the third fucking round. So, he, because before the season, we were all about running backs, running backs, running backs. I've changed. My philosophy is super flex. I'm getting two quarterbacks right away because they put up 30 points a game. If you can get 60 points from two players a week, all you need is the rest of you guys to not just Dude, suck. like, Kyler, like, no one, we don't just, you don't just get 30 points a game. Kyler gets 30 points a game. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, that's not a normal thing. Yeah, for most quarterbacks. But for Kyler, it's a common occurrence now. Kyler and Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson should be the next pick. Those two are having the single greatest fantasy seasons of all time. That's why I'm taking him in the second fucking pick. Well, I'm going to say shut your mouth, and I'm going to go with bike-to-bike picks here. Derrick Henry, Aaron Jones. Two workhorse <laughs> running backs there. Uh, Derrick Henry Terrible leading the pick. league in <laughs> rushing yards. I wanted to take Jones. If you can't get a fucking win with Derrick Henry, you got, you got some issues. Derrick Henry! Yeah, so Henry uh, up there, Aaron Jones, has been an absolute fucking animal right now i believe he's second in is he back is he back next week they second in points per game he should be yeah i mean he traveled with the team he almost yeah. played last week yeah. so i'll go with aaron jones derrick henry i mean two studs one probably leading the league in rushing touchdowns the other one just leading the league and being really fucking good at the running back position um not much more to say there animal your bike on the clock you take your second i'm trying to fucking cunts. put aaron jones on the board and he's not what's your goddamn problem all right so since well, how you, much time do you have you left it to a layup here for me i'm gonna go ahead and take um russell wilson here why because he is having like nick said one of the greatest fantasy seasons not only fantasy seasons, just quarterback seasons. he's just someone you want on your team to be honest like, like here's having the thing, russ like, is incredible if you have russell wilson on your team your chances of winning are automatically better than the other team if they don't have russ wilson right he has been a stud analysis he analysis. has been a stud. He has been a stud. I think okay. quarterbacks are have just been completely uh, undervalued, I think, in Superflex. I, I don't know about undervalued, but... All right, so I was thinking about going back to the running back realm. Do you guys really disagree with me on this quarterback thing? I think I'd, next year I'd I'm rather taking, running backs. I think next year I'm taking quarterbacks first and second round. Sure, and then they're, and then they're going to go back down to like 22 points a game, and then you're going to be like, fuck, I have no running backs. He's got a good point. The scarcity of the running back position will always be there. The workhorse running backs will always be very minimal. Yeah. Which is why I think and it's too much normal, of a gamble to try and take one. In a normal you don't know who 10, it's going to be. It's too much of a gamble to take one, so just don't take any at all. <laughs> just don't take any. <laughs> You'd rather just not get any than die trying. Just take some scrubs, just get take, some backups. Gonna, I, in a normal, sorry, but in a no, normal 10-team no, league, had it not have been, I guess this is 12 teams, so it's a little different, but like, had it not been for this year in E-Town oh. Get Down, we would have had quarterbacks on the wire that you could pick up and put in. Yeah. But that that's never the case with running backs, unless you get like really lucky and hit on a guy, but... Or Whatever, two, guy, two yeah. guys in the backfield get hurt, and yeah, there's a guy in exactly. waivers, and you have to pray Which that happens. he's any good. It, no, it of does, course sure. it happens, but, like, but the you, likelihood of you really you want to go him. into the year banking on that? No. It seems like he's all <laughs> in on that now strategy. I do. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take another run back. Um, I'm going to take Zeke. You know, last two weeks, not great, but 
still the guy there. I think he's I think he's RB two points per game. He's down at like seven, six or seven. I but think. yeah, overall. Point, but yeah, so yeah. you're gonna take um, Zeke now, knowing that like Dalton's the quarterback I and the am, Cowboys I are am, probably yes. gonna. Yeah, I, I question this I am. move. I question. Uh, I think it's to. a terrible they're, pick. They're gonna continue to feed him, and I think you're an that's idiot. probably the only way they're gonna score. And then I'm gonna take. I'm going to take Adam Thielen because oh, that's better. Um, wow, he's back. He's back home where he belongs. All the way in, up in, in seven. Was in my seven, arms. Eight? In my arms. He's here. He's home. Send trades. I'm taking him. Send trades. I'm taking Mr. Thielen because I love the man, and he's just unbelievable. And all they're going to be doing is is throwing it. So it's pretty fucking good. I might uh, follow you up here and just take Justin Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? So we have Kamara Jones, Henry. Is uh, it my pick? Is it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Like I can't follow what's going on. Yeah, anymore. it's my pick. Okay, it's my pick. Wait, hold on. Let me. Can I guess what you're gonna do here? Patrick take Mahomes. A quarterback. His name is Patrick Mahomes, and this is because I'm a new man. I'm a changed man. I'm a strategist <laughs> Clearly. man. Clearly, and it's I'm all a about strategist man. It's all about the quarterbacks now. Here's my theory. If I can get, say, I do get, like, we say just you, heard your fucking say, theory. I pick at the end of the draft, like the end of the round, I get myself Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson back to back at like the one twelve two one. Now the rest of my team, I just have to fill it out with some skill players. I'm good. Like I'm gonna get 60 points a week. No. It's so much easier hitting on like a fucking Ryan Tannehill in round 10, round eight, than it is a, a running back. All yeah, but I can there. still try and get one of them later too. Yeah, you could try, but this is what happened when you did your your purgatory of running backs like six in a row. That my whole plan for this year got changed when we had 18 running backs go off the board, and I had to take Michael Thomas in the second round. Michael Thomas shouldn't have been there in the second round. You didn't have to take Nick, him. Nick, you're up. You didn't have to take him. I had to take him. Okay. So I am on the clock right now. And the so 109. Uh, 109. I know who I want. I have Don't two in a row him. here, right? Yeah. Don't take him. I have two in a row, which you took the first three quarterbacks, right? Yeah, I took every quarterback. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. There's only been one receiver and three quarterbacks taken. So okay, you so got plenty of options. I'm going to go with Dalvin Cook here. Mm. It's one of them. Okay. He'll be back from injury. He'll be ready to roll. And then after Dalvin Cook, I can't go Jacobs. He's been shit. Yeah, what the fuck? Chris Carson is hurt. Joe Mixon week to week as well. I mean, James Conner actually makes a little bit of sense here, but I'm probably going to pass on him. I don't know why I'm going to pass on him, but I think I'm going to. If I had faith in Miles Sanders playing this week, I would probably take him here, but I don't. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they just let him sit. And then he's also got a buy, so you got to factor that in when we're drafting going forward for the remainder of the year. So I will. It's a fake draft. It's not that hard. <laughs> but he wants to provide substance. Animal, I want to beat you no matter what I do. <laughs> I mean, I have, three, really I have three quarterbacks already, so. I'm going to go with D Hop. Damn it. Oh. Dalvin Cook, D Hop. What's wrong? I want a D Hop. Well, I, why, you shouldn't have taken a quarterback. D Hop oh. and Kyler Murray. Yeah. I honestly regret that pick already. Really? You, you I, see, I'm no, surprised. No I'm surprised when you were going through, like, you're saying if you had confidence in Miles Sanders being healthy. Um, a James Conner, who I think I'm going to take with one of these picks. What about what about James Robinson? Yeah, I, I mean he is yeah. the lifeline of that. I would probably team. I probably would have taken James Robinson over Zeke and Cook. Isn't that insane that that's James so Robinson crazy. is being debated I was, as like I a was top take six? So that's why this, I saw. I see you see Zeke's name, and then you don't think about what, like the trash that actually is in Dallas but yeah, right you, now. But you're supposed to be doing this draft. Yes, like, I understand. I understand. I'm gonna. I I really thought that's where you were gonna go. I'm gonna take James Robinson, and um, it's not even your pick. Yeah, it is. He just no, won twice. It's, his. it's my pick. Oh, okay. So take James Robinson. He's the middle Stupid one, so he bitch. always goes yeah, yeah. between you. And so me. you take James Robinson, yes. and then I'll take James Conner. He would if he wasn't taking Lamar Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Lamar's having him down here. Anna Wins thinks on that. James one? Robinson. Yeah. So this is what's crazy about when you do these like redraft snipe scenarios, because James Robinson was a write in on our draft board. Like, yes, he was. They didn't even have a sticker for him. He was one of four write ins. And now he's a top running back, and he's going in the first round of our draft. Now some will say maybe he shouldn't, but I I would disagree. I think for redraft, yeah, I think for redraft he makes sense there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, listen, he's doing everything that you want your running back to do. So he's catching the ball, he's running the ball, he's scoring touchdowns. Yeah, he doesn't he's like off, really he doesn't on pace for field. over 60 catches, too. Yeah. That's wild. He doesn't come off the field. He does everything. Literally 100% of the snaps. Like, he does not come off Fantastic. the field. They yeah. just put uh, Raquel on, like, co- he's basically just in the hospital for the rest of his life now, right? Raquel's done. Yeah, I, that's not that's The not vinyl Zigbo didn't, he was activated, didn't get a fucking snap. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's crazy. All right, snacks. Now you're going to take James Conner? Yes, now I'm going to take James right. Conner. Terrible pick. Um, that's a terrible pick, really? Terrible pick. Why? Can you explain why? Because there's a better uh, guy on the board right now. That's all. <laughs> Is it Ronald Jones? It's Dak. <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Connor. I mean, he's back to he's he's bell cow in Pittsburgh. All right, that's the end just, of the first round. Where, uh, wow, that really? That's it? That's it. First round. James Connor. Worst pick in that first round? Zeke. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Zeke. 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 <laughs> yeah, definitely Zeke. 100%. Zeke for sure. I saw the name and I'm like, oh, wow. Um, easily the worst pick, though. Uh, second round we go. So, mm, I kind of have the same concerns about like the Miles Sanders and when he actually gets back. Rojo, I could see that not being Too his early. backfield. Um, Carson's banged up. Chubb's coming back for Hunt. I'll take uh, I'll take Calvin Ridley. He's been a beast. Like don't you don't like, like it? it? No, I don't like it. There's better wide Why? receivers on the board that are more consistent and not banged up. What but, the fuck but you are be you talking you. about? <laughs> no, you fucking be you. It's okay. Wait, wait. What the fuck? Are you? Hold on. Are you that fucking stupid? There's more consistent receivers. So Calvin Ridley, who would be by far be the best receiver on your shitbag <laughs> fantasy team, not even remotely close, had one game under 15 points. But he's banged up. What? He's dealing with like he's an He's banged up, injury. huh? Bro, his points are like are actually you kidding absurd me? <laughs> week to week. You are the 29, dumbest 26, son of a bitch 14, in the world. 17, 15, 15. Well, well, like more consistency. I'll tell you who I would take over him. Is it your pick? Yeah. All right, then do it. His name is uh, Tyler Lockett. And you want to talk about consistency? Oh my god, he is like the opposite of that. This is why people can't take you seriously. No, no, no. Here's why I like Tyler Lockett because if you have, he's fucking great. Because he just, I need the explosions. I want the explosion games. That's what I want. And Tyler Lockett. Okay, but then those. don't say something about consistency and then take a receiver who's not consistent. I'm all about. I'm changing myself now. I'm a quarterback and explosion man. He's, pick by pick, he's changing oh his theory. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's so drafts. different. Here's how I'm gonna draft from now on. I'm gonna draft quarterbacks and guys who can boom or bust. That's it. Because the quarterbacks are my safety seat, my safety floor. They're going to get me my points. And then if they don't boom, they get me eight points or whatever, the, my skill players. But when they when they do boom, I get 45 points from Tyler Lockett, and I fucking win. Okay. Are you whatever. done? Yes. All right. Now what I have to think of ever. what I want to do here. Uh, I took your guy, didn't I? No, I wasn't going to take Lockett. You I like should've. consistency. You should have <laughs> taken him. His, his fucking floor is like eight points. It's not bad. Okay. So I am so I'm debating three guys here. I'm debating. Let's guess. Okay. Is it like one of each position, like tight end, receiver, uh, running back? I'm not going to tell nah, you that. fine. That's not fun. Yeah. What are we at? 203? Three. Four? Yeah. Yeah, 2 3. Nah, I give up. You could debate on your own. Who do you think? I mean, it should be like Devontae Adams or Terry yeah. Hill. So it's it's going to be Devontae Adams yeah. coming off this fucking ridiculous 13 for 196 two touchdown game. Um, That's so the Devontae we know and love. I'll go with Devontae there. And then I was debating between Tyreek Hill and DK Metcalf. Um, also looking at back I would to, take DK back to Miles Sanders and uh, I was I was even thinking Jonathan Taylor here going forward I know he's been wildly disappointing up to this point but like you have to think it's going to get better you have to think he's going to I do agree that it's going to get better he I hasn't even to, been like disappointing he's just I was been just more of say, like is disappointing the word I guess for the yeah, hype maybe I think I think it is I but think I mean, most people expected like a bunch of 125 and two touchdown games fair, yeah. Yeah. he's been very he's serviceable getting, he's getting you 12 13 like when you watch game. him in college he's busting off 80 yard runs like yeah, it was fucking that nobody's that's a line job. you would think yeah, yeah well it's also like you see like you know James Robinson who's an undrafted nobody and then Jonathan Taylor is supposed to be this elite running back prospect, and James Robinson's out playing him. So, like, it just makes it. I guess like, you, Taylor looks terrible, but, like, I just think from almost like a process standpoint, it just makes sense that Taylor would go around this spot. There's but, a lot of game flow stuff going on with the Colts, too. Like, they've had, like, the ones where they were down, like, 20 right away. Well, Rivers is then, fucking like, killing it. Yeah, Rivers is terrible, terrible too. Really bad. So, yeah, I was, I was debating Kelsey because Kelsey has been fucking. I own him in a lot of leagues, and he has been so good it's a great and so luxury. consistent there. It's a great yeah. lo- like, it's a luxury, which is why. I love having him in E-Town, but I also got him the, at the 401. So yeah. it wasn't like I had to use my second rounder on him, which I guess wouldn't have mattered because it was fucking Eckler. But point remains, he's been amazing. This point going forward. So you took Adams and you're, you're back on the clock, correct? I took Adams. Yeah. And again, like game theory wise, I'd probably take a, a running back. But I, I think I want to take. Tyreek scored touchdown like every week so far. Except for one week. But like hasn't Metcalf too, though. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Like last week, was, I think there was two this, games he did. The Cardinals game was like, it's like, what's the difference? They're both the deep threat with the best quarterbacks. Yeah, like one's just really big and one's flip, really flip small. A coin, really. I would pro- I'm probably going to go with DK because the Seattle defense is going to continue gracious. to let up so many points, and and Casey's defense is going to keep getting better. And like what we saw last week, they just know? added Le'Veon Bell, going to take some targets away. I don't know if that's a Tyree Kill thing, but. <laughs> The way I see it is Casey's defense could continue to dominate games and they might not need to air it out as much. I think we've seen that a lot from Mahomes. He's putting up a lot of like 200 for two touchdown performances. A little worrisome, but I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lock it up with fucking Mr. DK. Yeah, I'm a little upset because that's who I was going to take. Um, it's my pick. But 
<laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Because you don't know what you're doing. You suck at fantasy. All right, I'm gonna go whoa, with. Whoa! Wait! 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 Should we go back to the recap? <laughs> I'm gonna probably go with either Kelsey or Hill. It's definitely between one of these Chiefs. I'm gonna go with Kelsey here because, from my personal experience this year, I have been getting destroyed at the tight end position. I have not found a tight end to give me points that I need. Kelsey will do that. This feels like an emotional. This pick. is an emotional <laughs> pick, but it's also a great pick because Travis Kelsey's been having a great year and he's a very reliable. Tight end. And you got tight a, end one for the fifth year in a row. Is yeah. there even, anyone even close to him? Like no. He's ahead. I mean, Kittles has Kittles fun. like not 20 punter, points but behind. Like, he can't. St- a lot of times he can't stay on the fucking field. Yeah, and then Mark Andrews, all over the place. Mark Andrews is too touchdown dependent for his points. So. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, Kelsey. Halloween clearly season. the – honestly, I would Spooky. consider taking like Waller over Andrews and Kittle. Not over Kittle. Definitely no? not. No. Not this year. I mean, Waller's balling out, dude. Yeah, I know. Waller's a guy. I would t- I would take Waller over Andrews for sure right now, but I wouldn't take Waller over Kittle. Yeah. Regardless, we're not up to that point. Yeah. All right. Snacks, finally. Not your there pick. yet. Finally, my pick. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to take Terry Kill. I wanted Metcalf, but going to take Terry Kill. And then, whoa, that's a little aggressive. A little aggressive. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> did you see the guy at the? you see the guy at the baseball game who was doing the. Yeah, and I sent it to I was like every every eight year old when they saw a fucking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Come that's out. so great. All right, Tyreek Hill, so great. Yeah, Tyreek Hill. I'm gonna believe. I just it. just think any player that you want that you think is good, I probably took him. No, because you were just talking about Jonathan Taylor, so you didn't take him because um, he's not good. I, I disagree. I, I disagree. Really? I think is he helping coming. you in E Town? He, he was. Good? No, he was. If he did his normal 13, 14 points per per game, and he was not on by, I win the game. So. If so, fact so, I'm taking Jonathan Taylor. Big second half coming. Terrible pick. I like it. I probably would have actually considered taking him there. Jonathan Taylor. All JT. right. JT. So now. All right. Just put in DeAndre Swift for yourself, Animal. We know. Just move along. No. Why would I take him? Because he's so good. I'm actually he's looking. He's about to fuck him. <laughs> I hope so. Do I take another quarterback? I mean, there's one. Why not? There's one here that I really like. It's just don't need to now, I guess, based on... How the fuck is Lamar Jackson the QB 18 right now? He hasn't been that good this year. I know, but like QB 18? Yeah, that seems, that seems a little aggressive because weren't we talking like... QB 14, I guess. Points per game is QB... Weren't we talking last week how there's no... Besides like the top three, there's QB 11 points per game. World beaters. That's horrible. Am I going to get made fun of for this? Is this a bad... Do I, should I take Todd Gurley Have here? you ever made a pick that wasn't made fun of? I kind of want to take Bro, Todd Gurley here. No, I'll make fun of you. You taking Todd Gurley over Miles Sanders right now? I, I don't would, like Miles Sanders in Dynasty. I just don't like him. He's not the guy. Miles Sanders is like, who knows when he's going to be healthy again? Todd Gurley's healthy and balling, scoring touchdowns on accident. Todd Gurley, touchdown! He's not bowling. He's, he's not even like trying to score touchdowns. Carry, he's not sure. even trying to score touchdowns. He's scoring touchdowns. Yeah, he was trying to score a touchdown. Um, <laughs> yeah, Nick swears. Yeah, you know what? I like getting made fun of. This should get no, some no, no. Good I'm, comments I'm in the yeah. comment section. I'm going to take Todd Gurley here. Well, can we, can Scott, can you like clip that? I like getting made fun of. So all the, the creeps in the comments that say, you guys should make fun of animals so much. Yeah, you know what? I like getting made fun of. This should get some good comments in the comment section. There you go. Well, it's not that I like it. It's just it's become the part of the brand. It's so already been clipped. Who's, uh, I'm just who's, a brand guy. You, Scott? I'm a brand guy, you know? I'm all about the brand. It's your pick. See? My, my pick? Yeah, I finally figured it out. Okay, so. You should take Josh Jacobs. I got two in a row here. Is that what you're thinking? Who I wanted to take for the brand. You got to figure he turns it on. For the brand. Got to take Todd Gurley. Well, maybe get, maybe Jacobs gets back to you. No, nah, you're going to take him. I can't. Yeah, he's going to take him. <laughs> See, you're an idiot. You thought I was up next, too. I need to look at the Raiders schedule. It's confusing not seeing it in front of you. Because Jacobs has been absolutely killed by strong By schedule, defenses. yeah. I think now he's going to open the Browns, up. the Chargers, the Broncos, the Chiefs. It's not really that it's much easier. Good, the no. Falcons are a good run defense somehow. The Jets, the Colts are tough. Chargers again. Wow. But yeah, that's, that doesn't really get any easier for Jacobs. And he's not catching any passes, so. No, he's been a major disappointment. What about C-Mac coming back? So I think I'm at the point where like I'm I'm ready to kind of waver on the risk reward kind of shit. Or and you just say fuck it and take Mike Davis. Go. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we're if we're playing from this point forward. What's up, man? Hey, Mike. From right now forward, I'm legitimately thinking about taking Chase Edmonds here. I love wow. it. I would take Chase here from this point forward. What's the final deal? Drake's going to be out for four. Do weeks, we know five the, weeks? Is that like official? Is it officially four no, or five? It's a weeks? high ankle sprain. Okay. So like even if he comes back in three to four weeks, he's. And you talking limited. about an electric offense that's just. 
That's what I mean. Like, I like it. He's I doing like that. work in the passing game without him. Imagine what Drake was doing plus the passing work. I think that's Chase Edmonds there. I'm a big Edmonds believer. And I think Edmonds is, yeah, Edmonds is better. Now. Edmonds is better. And he's so. going to be really fucking good in this offense right now. So I'm going to go with Chase. Now, I know you're going to do this, but and you have another pick, obviously. You could take him, but Chase over Clyde. Interesting. I really think we're going to see. Clyde's not doing anything through the air. Clyde's, he's been like quietly, consistently good, though. He's but, like, like he's quietly not... good. I think Chase has legitimate, like, Top five running back blow up over potential. the next yeah, month. Yeah, it, it's upside. clearly his backfield and Bell. Clyde's going to be in a committee with yeah. Bell, like sooner they're rather than later. Get, especially this week, if you have Clyde, I'd worry because they're going to feed Bell against the Jets. Yeah, that makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Chase here, and then I'm going to go with I want to take Miles Sanders, but like if he ends up missing this week, and then they have the buy, that's two weeks out of the next like five that we don't have him for. I mean, you don't know how he's going to be when he comes back, like health He's going to be really fucking good. Well, like he's a good been. football player, but he comes back and then he fucking tweaks it again or whatever. You You've know? had a vendetta against Sanders since we uh, we I, were doing Zoom shows that first mock draft. Because last year, Sanders, all of his volume came off of no wide receivers being, there was no wide receivers for Wentz to throw to. So Sanders got peppered. Wasn't going to happen this year, was my theory. It's fair. It's very fair. This is a tough pick right now. It's not that tough. It's a fake draft. <laughs> should I take Darren Waller here? I think you should. It's, it's a great tight end pick. It's not six. tough. It's a fake draft. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a great pick, Darren Waller. I'm going to take a 30-second timeout. All right, Scott. No, no, no. Scott, don't time it out. <laughs> Just need to sit here and think about things. <laughs> need to draw up a new play. Who do you have? Who would be your MVP right now? Season ended. Cummer. You think so, huh? What the fuck? In fantasy? Yeah. I thought you meant real life for a second. I was like, I mean, real life is pretty close too, probably. No. Stop. Dude, what do you mean no? No. You don't think he's real close? He's thrown 13 touchdowns to seven picks. He does have seven rushing touchdowns. Yeah. He has I mean, seven rushing touchdowns already? Yeah, some of them were like 40 yard runs where he juked out the entire I, can't, I wouldn't take him over. That was literally him being the most valuable player on the field, running for touchdowns. Dude, Tom Brady. Yeah, just, Tom Brady's yeah. starting to make All right, fuck it. We're taking Miles. Yeah, go, go with your guy. Me. Make me wait for all that so you can Go take that guy. fucking guy. Tom miles Brady making a case. And miles and miles. A lot of this. A lot of this. My laptop's going to die. Miles Sanders. All right. So you want to just. Yeah, I do. I'm going to go with. Uh, uh, this is a tough one because, like, the schedule, you know, it gets. Uh, you know what? Maybe I do. Just, maybe I just fucking say go. Wait, how was. Did Diggs get hurt? No. No, he was fine, right? Yeah. It's a good pick. I'm, I'm debating between Diggs and McLaurin right here. That's what I'm, I'm looking at. I like Terry because he just gets it done and he doesn't even have a quarterback. But he's so fucking good. He's so he good, exactly. Good. So like, like if this was Dynasty, I'd smash obviously. But imagine not lot. taking David Montgomery here. That's a good point. David Montgomery, what a stud! I'm gonna go ahead. He's really bad at football. Just like awful. You know what? I'm gonna take Kareem Hunt. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Because no. Yeah, Chubb's gonna be back soon. Chubb's gonna be back. Yeah. It's a fake draft. It's tough. It's not that tough. It's a fake draft. <laughs> I'm so pissed it's, right now. Scott, clip it. Can it's I, not hard. It's fake I draft. Can I help you here? And can I tell you what you should do? Yeah, please help you me. take Keenan Allen. Yeah, I kind of like Tyler Boyd. Over Keenan Allen. I'm done with you. <laughs> Don't give him a pick. All right, I'll take Keenan Allen just because I'm going to keep this draft moving along. Honestly, if I didn't already take three quarterbacks, I don't want to like ruin this, but like I would have went with Justin Herbert here. I love him right now. Fantasy wise, he's Pretty fucking good. so good for fantasy because he's throwing touchdowns. He's running. He's doing. He, I love it, and they're, that team's always going to be. They they're going to need to be in the games. They're going to be throwing. So, mm. it's not you bad. Take, you should take Justin Herbert. I mean, I could. I wish we had a fucking cross off list so I could see who the fuck. Yeah, that's kind of getting to be my problem this too. Is tough. You I'm gonna join gonna the. Say, I'm going to take McCaffrey. You know, we took him, right? No, no. I'm, I think it's worth it. Yeah, at this point. Um, they said obviously he's probably not playing Thursday because it's a he uh, comes back short he wins, week. He wins it for you. Should, right, exactly. He's a he's a league winner. I, th- I think you're three now. weeks away from getting him. I think this week. You think next, so? I don't think he plays next week either. Oh, I was reading today that they're that's eyeing. Their, that's week their nine. plan. Yeah, maybe. I was reading it on the way here. That's why I kind of was in my. I just head. don't believe any one. No, no you about can't. About you anything. can't ever. But I mean, you know, Carolina has, hasn't been awful, so that there's been no rush for McCaffrey to get back. So I'll take C Mac there. Digs too, man. I, I don't hate. I don't hate what he's doing over there. He's. Model of consistency as as uh, you hate so much. Outside of last week against the Jets, he's been he's been really good. I'm, I'm going to take Diggs. He's been a pleasant surprise in Buffalo. I didn't think he would be. I mean, obviously we know the talent. He's great. We just didn't. I think we've said it said it last week. Too. We didn't believe in Josh Allen. Being we didn't able believe to in the Josh ball. Allen the way he could throw. But that's his that's his guy. He's he's feeding him the ball. So I will I will take C Mac and I will take Diggs. All right. Well, I'm going to do. Uh, fuck. I want to get weird here. I'm, I I you know what? I'm not even going to get weird. I'm going to weird. Er, you mean? Uh, it's, it's between Clyde and like fucking 
Like Robbie Anderson, to be honest with you. Really? I love Robbie Anderson this year. He's fucking balling. Obviously, he's doing really well. And I think he's just going to keep Didn't it going. Didn't you want like, Terry? And he's still on the board? Yeah, but I think... What about Tyler, just like, what about I li- Tyler Boyd? I like, I like Teddy Bridge. I, dude, I love Tyler Boyd this year. He's getting a lot of targets. Yeah, you don't have to say you love him this year. We already know he's doing good this year. He's been consistent, which I love, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the contradiction <laughs> by Animal on today's show has been off the charts. Just take um, Austin Hooper and be done. Uh, take your boy David Njoku. You love David Njoku. Uh, what? I think I'm going to... Rojo? Uh, I do love Rojo. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take Josh Jacobs. I know he's got a tough schedule. What about Mo'Ally Cox? I know he's got a tough schedule, but we're still talking about a starting running back here. and I'm getting him in the third round. I think he'll be able to get work done. The Raiders are a good team. I like it. Josh Jacobs. You got to figure at some point he... Uh, He's gonna get his. He's gonna have his games. Yeah, he started off the year fucking thirty-two points. Now it's like yeah. tough run defenses, like Nick said. But it's still, yeah. you know, we'll get it done. Well, are we only doing three. Only yeah, doing we're gonna do three yeah. rounds. I am up here and I get two in a row. Man, I was thinking about Josh Allen, but that that offense looks very weird Anemic. without John Brown. Dude, I don't like, know why he's like the fucking Sean Watson's right there. Skeleton key. Yeah. That Buffalo team. That I buff- hate Houston's offense. I want no part yeah, but of that. The, but Deshaun Watson doesn't matter who his receivers are. He's just throwing touchdowns to people. That Buffalo offense two weeks in a row has become very. Uh, the Buffalo's been one of those teams that like they start off playing very bad teams. And they look really good. And then now. I, think, eh. I still think it'll be fine. Yeah. But like, I don't know if I want to use a pick on a quarterback here. You should. Quarterbacks are very valuable. <laughs> if you have two really good quarterbacks, you should <laughs> you probably know? win every week. Wait, so which running backs are on the board that are like reasonable to pick here? Clyde. Uh, so Clyde, you got here's the top guys. You got Clyde, Chubb, uh, Carson. Carson, Fournette, Bell, Gordon, Demont, Hunt. Did you take Gurley already? Yeah. Yeah, I took Gurley. <clears throat> you on him now, don't you? No, I know. Rojo? No. Swift? Henderson. What about Swift? Too early. You know who I oh. Antonio Gibson. Can you calm down over there. Antonio Gibson. <laughs> yeah, Gibson's like, not a bad pick. I like Gibson. I'm actually thinking about someone very Weird right now. Unorthodox? This is supposed to be unorthodox, so. You thinking defense? No. Nah, thinking about kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make the pick because there's just been a quarterback change in this team, this offense, and I don't know how it's going to affect his receiving work. So we will not take this guy here. We're going to look at wide receivers. Wait, wait, wait. Just talking about Amari Cooper. No, fuck no. Okay. Um, Monte Parker? Nope. You think I'm gonna take Parker this high? No, I don't. Mike I'm trying, Gesicki. Do you know who I'm is trying leading, to think of the quarterback? Do you change. know who is leading the wide receivers this year in points per game? Tyreek Hill. No, he's like fucking literally 13th. Justin Jefferson. Devontae Adams. Tyler Lockett is two. Justin Jefferson. Number three is AJ Brown. Oh, AJ Brown wow. has looked fucking incredible. He looks great he's on Sunday. Back. Yeah. It's two games in a row. He's looked amazing. He is Tannehill's go-to guy. Obviously, uh, I'm gonna grab AJ Brown here with one of my picks. I'm so confused on the quarterback change. I'm going to get weird here. I'm going to do it and just say, fuck it. Miles Gaskin. Love it. Oh, yeah. That's... Miles Gaskin. Oh, well, I, I thought it. you were talking receiver. He's basically like, saying... he's Miami's James Robinson. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. come off the field. I said, yeah, quarterback change. No, from, no, I know. I know. But when, you, when I think quarterback change, I kind of just immediately think like you're not, wide receiver. You're time. not a creative. No, it's a great pick. See, that's something I never said like, I was creative. Miles Gaskin went undrafted. And now he's going in the third round. He, and I think he deserves to go in the third round. Yeah. I debated him in the earlier pick, too. I like him a lot. And yeah. Like, his points per game-wise, he's probably down on, like, RB20, but he had the first week that they were splitting carries. But since then, he's made Jordan Howard completely irrelevant. And he's yeah, like, yeah. he's just an every-down player now. And this no, offense, he's, he's, he's good this offense is a lot better than we thought it would be. So And does it get better with Tua? Maybe. I, I would assume so, yeah. Meh, maybe. I don't think so. We'll see, yeah. I think it's going to be a little little time before they uh, yeah. before he gets going. Either way, yeah, I like Aston's here a lot. Yeah, I think He's the only, like, clear three-down guy left on the board, I think. That's not hurt. Yeah. For the running back position? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Because all the rest have guys like coming back. Like, I still like Kareem Hunt a lot, but like the fact that Chubb's coming back. Yeah. I mean, for the remainder of the season, they all are either going to be in committees or they're going to miss two to three weeks because of injury. So I'm going to go ahead and take a wide receiver here. I'm going to take the guy I was thinking about taking earlier. His name is Terry McLaurin. Uh, I'm just going to get out of the way. I'm just going to get out of the way because I want him. I want to get him and I'm going to take him. He's just balling out. No matter who the quarterback is, if it's Kyle Allen, if it's Ron Rivera, he's going to catch balls. <laughs> he's going to be good. So, Terry Speaking McLaurin. of which, Ron Rivera, uh, Ron Rivera. Oh, yeah. Clap it up for Ron. Finished his cancer treatment. Yep. Didn't miss a game. Ultimate beast. warrior, man. What a beast. And he tried to have Alex Smith killed, too, which was <laughs> working overtime. <laughs> <laughs> and he should be three and four, but, you know, he's a riverboat gambler, so. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Should be. Make your pick. Um, sneaks it in. I time. like Kareem Hunt the rest of the year too. I think third round is a very yeah. Good price and today. OBJ's out. He's gonna be on the field even when Chubb gets gets back. 
And when Chubb was in, he was still over double digits in those three games. So round three, I, I like Kareem. So I will, uh, I will, I will go Hunt here, and I'm gonna go Kittle. Good pick. Yeah. Really bad. I'm, I'm, Tight I'm, ends I'm are, are, are tricky. So yeah, yeah, I you know what? I'm falling into that trap where every year I just don't have like a tight end in redraft. And yeah, just, I'm sick of it. It fucking kills you. It's a nice luxury. George, come on down, baby. Where are we come at? Come on right down. Now in the Three eight. Three, my eight. pick. Oh, so I'm done. No. no. Yeah, I'm done. We got more. He's got one. Then I've got two. Two. One. 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 You. Yeah, you have you, you finished. Oh, I know first. who I'm getting, Mr. Irrelevant. Oh, do you now? Mm-hmm. All right, so he's retired. Uh, Mr. Irrelevant, he's gotta be someone on animal team. <laughs> I, I don't want to take another fucking Washington football team player, but I really do like Antonio Gibson. Well, they're they're going not on the forward. same team, so. Like, Terry McLaurin. No, I, I meant like. Yeah, I know. It's not like I'm drafting him on my team. It's not hard. It's a fake draft. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It is a fake draft. It's not that tough. It's a fake draft. You know what, though? Like, is DeAndre Swift about to actually take over that role? Use your animal he has instincts. Slowly been taking. Like, it. is he going to though? Because this is like what the Lions do. Like, Realistic, all of a sudden they do this. Realistically, then... I don't have confidence that. Yeah. I, he played like fifty percent of the snaps this week, and that was the highest number and the highest touches. I feel like this is almost his ceiling game in terms right? of usage. Yeah. Like, I think Antonio Gibson's usage is probably going to be more. And yeah, I just don't trust Patricia. All of a sudden, Lagarde is going to be out there. I would take Gibson over Swift here. Yeah. Right, those so, are the two I'd be debating, but I would probably take Gibson. Would you take Gibson over Clyde? Because I just did. I think I would. I would tell you to so that I can have Clyde here, and I'll go with Clyde and DeAndre Swift. As nice. My two. I, I actually wow. do think Just I would take Gibson over, me, huh? over yeah. Clyde. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I am concerned about that. We're all clearly that, very concerned about Clyde. Yeah. Um, I think like when you look at what he's done this year. It's been fine. He's been, no, well, listen, like it has been fine. but I he, guess for first run. For I where think, he, where he had he the big went. week one against Houston, who we now know is probably the worst run defense in yeah. the NFL. And he had the 161 against Buffalo, who's also a terrible run defense. Yeah. In between that, his rushing totals, 38, 64, 64, 40, and this last game, 46. Yeah. He's had some good receiving work, but like Clyde's just not a guy who, who busts this, out like big-ass runs and but stuff. But this is and, who he was coming into. I think the yeah. thing with Clyde was he was just so overhyped because he was on the Chiefs. Yeah. That's it. If he was like on the fucking Cardinals, it wouldn't have been this story. Clyde would not have been a first-round pick. No. He should have never been a first-round pick. I don't think so. I kind of disagree with that. I don't think so. He... The hype got so crazy. He went in the 1-6 well, in that's our what ha- that, But that's what happens. People took him before Kamara. I, I'm not positive. I'm not a confident man. I'm not a smart man. But Alvin Kamara falling to 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. What was that supposed to do? I still, th- I still think the process makes sense, given what we thought or what we think the Chiefs' offense could be. But now with Le'Veon Bell in the picture, of course, well, it looks terrible. For yeah. sure. You but I think even before that, it was just an overhype with the Chiefs. Like Chiefs, I don't Mahomes, know about, about six. Like eighth, I was you know debating him eight and to ten Jacobs, round, yeah, yeah. When, when which would have been fine. I board. wouldn't have been mad at that. But yeah, it's kind of he's been underwhelming for what we thought he could be doing. I, th- I think he's Boy, actually right where he should have been. I think it's just like. What I expected from him. If he just if he just didn't keep getting fucking stuffed on the goal line like every <laughs> six plays, his, his, his points would be way higher. Right now he is the right now overall pick. he's a running back nine in fantasy. If he scores two more touchdowns, he moves up to he's a running back five. Yeah, so he that's two more touchdowns. That's that's first in round half worthy. It's first round worthy, but rest of the year, obviously what we're talking about and Bell being there, so where you sure. get him there, it's beautiful. Me, you, 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 and then we're done with three rounds. Yeah, I'm I I kinda wanna just like it's not that hard, animal. It's fake. I know. I, I kind of want to take fucking make your pick, Justin Jefferson, because I think the upside is huge going forward the rest of the season. It's just a little early, but like it's a redraft, redraft. It's redraft. a redraft, redraft, redraft that we have no 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 stake in. Yeah, I'm gonna take Justin Jefferson because I think he could <laughs> possibly over Will Fuller, huh? Yeah, because the Vikings. I think I would, I think I would do that too, honestly. I just trust Jefferson more than Will Fuller. How do you guys not trust Will Fuller? It's not that I don't. No, I I don't. The injury is coming. It's coming. He already had the hamstring in like week three. That is my only thing. But yes, he did have the hamstring. But Justin Jefferson is going to get those thirty point games that I need. You need those blow up games to win. I'm all about the explosion. (laughs) Boomer bust. I love this new man. Boomer bust. No consistency. Fuck consistency. I want thirty five or five. Don't give me anything. No thoughts. No thoughts on Julio Jones going forward. Actually, why don't you make your last pick and then we'll talk about some guys that we didn't. Yeah, definitely Um, missed some guys. So now I'm now I'm on the tight end. That's the problem. Looking at the random rankings list is like points per game and like some guys have. I could go receiver here. I could go quarterback. Greg um, Ward is still there. Greg Ward, he's still Greg available. Greg Ward Jr. Still yeah, there. he's he's still there. So is Kendrick Bourne. Yeah, uh, those guys are still there. I'm gonna go Darren Waller. I'm on my tight end kick. So that's how I want to end it off. Oh, oh, you took George Kittle. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so we have three tight ends. How many <coughs> how many quarterbacks end up being drafted, and were you the only one to take? Yes, I, I took three quarterback. quarterbacks, and you guys didn't, which is disgusting. The fact that Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers did not go make me sick. The only reason I didn't take them is because I need to have some diversity. You could have scooped up all of our value. You should have just went <laughs> yeah, seven just straight. Five quarterbacks? You should have went all quarterbacks. That would have actually been funny. So yeah. a couple guys, yeah. So I'm going to go position by position, see who we left off the list real quick, and just give a reason why. So we have... Carson's obviously week to week. Ronald Jones has got Fournette in the mix now. Mixon is also week to week. Uh, David Johnson we did not take. I think could have been debated in the top three rounds. Not I just that. don't he think he holds been. up. He's been solid, but like yeah. rest of the season, I don't have faith He's in him. In the top top three rounds, I look for a guy with with some sort of upside or ceiling, and he just clearly doesn't have it this year. Thoughts on like on Henderson didn't go right. Nobody drafted oh, fuck, him. I have a call in seven minutes. That's another one where it's just like we can, a, we can too run. much of a committee by the backfield where like, too much. Too much confusion going on there. Is yeah. it going to be fucking Malcolm Brown? Is no, it going to no, be I, Darrell Henderson? Is it going to be Cam Akers? It's I don't, not dis- gonna be Cam I don't Akers. disagree, but for what he's been this year, it's not been bad. So that's why. I yeah, I agree, but like I'm not taking him in the first three rounds. Will Fuller, I think, should have been a top three pick. I disagree. I mean, that's fine. I disagree respectfully. He's been amazing. This can year. argue it. I would say if we missed anyone, like who I think actually should have probably went. Um, you got to look at the quarterbacks, really. Well, the quarterbacks for sure, but yeah. even like Kenny Galladay, dude, he's been oh, fucking wow. very yeah. consistent. And he has that boomer bust ability too. And Stafford, I mean, that's a, that's a nice quarterback to have. I would not mind having a wide receiver catching balls from Stafford. How worried are you guys about Allen Robinson? Because that Bears offense is. I don't want Allen I think Robinson. You, I think you take the good with the bad. I think that's it. <laughs> I think there's no reason for Nick Foles to be starting over Mitch Trubisky. There shouldn't. There's no upside with Sorry. Nick Foles. Sorry, like, and I'm not saying there's like a lot of upside with Mitch, but when you have two bad quarterbacks, give me the athletic one. Yes, give me the one that can at least legs. maybe escape and find a guy downfield instead of I just love like that. throw this it. Is the conversation now. It's ridiculous. It was literally the other conversation. It's, it's like flip it around. You can't be any worse than Mr. Busy. You have to get Nick Foles. And then you watch last night, and then it's like, okay, maybe it can be a little bit better. Yeah, Kenny G definitely belongs in that conversation. Yeah, um, I didn't, you know why? I didn't even see Kenny G. Yeah, yeah I thought about taking him a down. couple of times, but I like he's been like a 14-point game guy. He gets like seven catches, maybe a touchdown. Yeah. So, like, he's consistent. He's good. But for me, the new max, new animal, I want 35 points or don't give me any points. way to end it i think will fuller deserves to be in there all right we're out hit that thumbs up subscribe to our channels and all that fucking bullshit bullshit goodbye